when a new object from outside our solar system enters, it always raises questions. But this time things are even stranger. A Harvard scientist has revealed shocking details about a mysterious interstellar visitor called 3i Atlas. This object is moving at a speed of 130,000 miles per hour, making it the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected by astronomers. Unlike normal comets or asteroids from our solar system, its chemistry and behavior do not match anything scientists have seen before. Astronomers first spotted 3i Atlas in July through the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile. It appeared as a faint dot moving unusually fast. Careful measurements showed that its orbit is hyperbolic, which means it is not bound to the sun's gravity and will never return. Its path suggests it came from far beyond our solar system, possibly from the direction of the galactic center. This already made it unique, but the surprises did not stop there. When scientists studied the gases coming from 3i Atlas, they expected to see both nickel and iron. On Earth and in all other comets studied, these two metals are always found together because they are formed in the same way inside dying stars. But with 3i Atlas, telescopes detected strong signals of nickel while iron was completely missing. This shocked scientists because in nature, separating nickel from iron is nearly impossible without industrial processes. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb pointed out that this unusual chemical fingerprint might not be natural at all. The nickel-to-iron ratio is unlike anything known in our solar system, leading some to wonder if this object could have been engineered rather than formed naturally. The mystery deepened when NASA's James Webb Space Telescope studied the gases more closely. It found that carbon dioxide dominates the composition of this object, with a ratio of 8 parts carbon dioxide to just 1 part water. This is the highest ever measured in any comet. Normally, comets have only about 4% carbon dioxide. The sheer amount of carbon dioxide in 3i Atlas is far beyond expectations. Some scientists suggest this might be due to billions of years of exposure to cosmic rays during its journey through interstellar space. Others believe it could be evidence that this comet formed in a very unusual star system, or that it might not be natural at all. This discovery brings back memories of another mysterious interstellar object, Oumuamua, which entered our solar system in 2017. Oumuamua was long and flat, shaped like no asteroid ever seen before, and it accelerated slightly as it passed the sun without showing any gas or dust. Many scientists could not explain this behavior with normal physics. Avi Loeb argued that Oumuamua might have been a thin, artificial object pushed by sunlight, possibly a probe from another civilization. The scientific community was divided, but the mystery was never solved. Now with 3 i Atlas, we see another interstellar visitor breaking the rules of nature. Nickel without iron extreme carbon dioxide levels and a hyperbolic path through our solar system all point to something beyond our current understanding. Could this be nature showing us a chemistry we have never encountered before? Or is it possible that we are seeing signs of advanced engineering from beyond our world? The answers could change how we see our place in the universe. When Oumuamua entered our solar system in 2017, it broke all the rules. Instead of behaving like a normal comet or asteroid, it sped up slightly after passing the sun, but without leaving behind the usual gas or dust trail. Its strange shape and unexplained acceleration set off a storm of debate. Some astronomers said it could be made of exotic ices, hydrogen outgassing, or even fluffy dust clouds. But Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb suggested something bolder. Maybe Oumuamua was an artificial object, like a solar sail designed to move with a push of starlight. His claim drew both criticism and support, making headlines worldwide. While many scientists disagreed, no natural explanation fully matched the data, leaving Oumuamua as one of astronomy's biggest mysteries. This moment set the stage for Loeb's next investigation, 3i Atlas. When this new interstellar object arrived, carrying metals and chemistry unlike anything seen before, he was ready to ask the difficult questions again. Could this be another natural oddity? Or could it be something engineered? For Loeb, the lesson from Oumuamua was clear. Science must follow the evidence, even if it leads to uncomfortable possibilities. 
The fascination with metals from the sky isn't new. Thousands of years ago, ancient people already saw fallen iron as a gift from the heavens. In Egypt, archaeologists found 5,000-year-old beads made from meteoritic iron, their nickel content proving they came from space. Later, King Tutankhamun was buried with a dagger crafted from the same kind of sky iron, its crystalline patterns showing it was never melted in a furnace. Across the Bronze Age world, in Turkey, Syria and China, artifacts made of meteoritic iron appear again and again. These early civilizations didn't know about supernovae or planetary formation, but they understood the power of a material that came from beyond Earth. That same mystery echoes today as astronomers study 3i slash Atlas. Nickel streaming from it without iron is unlike anything found in our solar system. Combined with its unusually high carbon dioxide levels, this raises a fundamental question. Are we seeing an extreme natural process or something that hints at intelligence? If it is natural, then the universe is capable of forging matter in ways we've never imagined. If it is engineered, it could be a deliberate signal, a kind of cosmic fingerprint left for us to find. To explain the missing iron, some scientists are looking at the most violent events in the cosmos. Kilonovi. These happen when two neutron stars collide, releasing enough energy to create heavy elements in seconds. In 2017, Astronomers watched such an event for the first time and detected strontium in the debris, proof that these collisions make rare elements. Simulations show that in certain conditions, kilonovi can produce nickel-rich material with little or no iron. If 3i slash Atlas formed from this kind of stellar explosion, it would naturally carry the strange chemical mix now puzzling astronomers. But even if kilonova debris explains the chemistry, the story doesn't end there. An object like 3i slash Atlas drifting into our solar system is a reminder that we live in a galactic crossroads, where material from other stars, and perhaps other civilizations, can arrive without warning. Every anomaly like this forces scientists to reconsider the rules of physics and the history of matter itself. The mystery is ongoing. If the data points to a rare natural process, then we're learning something new about the universe's most extreme forges. But if the evidence leans towards something engineered, the implications are even greater. We may not be alone, and someone out there has left behind a signature in the form of a comet that breaks all the rules. The strange spike of carbon dioxide seen by the James Webb Space Telescope could still be explained by natural processes. Some scientists think that debris from violent cosmic events, bombarded by radiation for billions of years, could build up unusual chemical layers that only reveal themselves when the object gets close to a star. This doesn't require any advanced engineering, just the raw power of nature. When the densest objects in the universe collide, they can create fragments filled with rare elements and send them across galaxies. To explain the extreme mix of metals seen in 3i slash Atlas, the object would have to be a rare survivor born in the heart of a neutron star collision and traveling for millions of years before reaching our solar system with its unusual chemistry intact. Supernovae, the massive explosions that mark the deaths of stars, also play a role in creating exotic metals. These explosions are not always neat and spherical. Some tear themselves apart in uneven blasts, shooting heavy elements like nickel in narrow jets while leaving iron behind. Astronomers studying the W49b supernova remnant have seen exactly this kind of behavior. X-ray maps from telescopes reveal distinct regions where nickel and iron separate into clumps, sometimes carried hundreds of light years apart. This proves that nature itself can create extreme chemical imbalances. If 3i slash Atlas came from such an explosion, it could have formed as a nearly pure nickel fragment, missing most of the iron. Over millions of years, it could have cooled and drifted across the galaxy until finally entering our solar system. But the story doesn't end there. Avi Loeb and his team noticed that the path of 3i slash Atlas through the solar system is suspiciously precise. The chances of it passing unusually close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter in a single flyby are only about 0.005%. That's like flipping a coin 15 times and getting heads every time. Even stranger, the object's orbit is retrograde meaning it moves in the opposite direction of the planets. It also reached its closest point to the sun on the far side, making it difficult to observe at its brightest. To Loeb, this looks less like an accident and more like a deliberate path, 
almost as if the object was designed to survey the inner planets while avoiding easy detection. Critics argue that rare cosmic events happen naturally, but Loeb counters that the odds here are too extreme to ignore. He suggests we should at least consider the possibility that 3i slash Atlas is not just a comet, but something engineered. This wouldn't make it a traditional probe. It could be more like a messenger. The metals, the chemistry, and the orbit itself might all be part of a record, a way of carrying information across the galaxy. This idea draws parallels to humanity's own golden record, launched on Voyager 1 and 2 in 1977. Those spacecraft carried music, greetings, and scientific diagrams etched into disks, meant to outlast our civilization. If 3i slash Atlas is something similar, then its unusual chemistry could be the message. Information written not in sound or light but in atoms themselves. Instead of a radio signal, it could be a time capsule using isotopes and elemental ratios as a kind of cosmic code. On Earth, scientists already use isotopes to track the origin of materials, and DNA itself is a code built from molecules. An advanced civilization might use metals and isotopes in the same way, arranging them in patterns nature would never create by chance. Every sample of gas and vapor from 3i slash Atlas is now being studied to see if hidden patterns exist. Patterns that might prove this was designed, not random. If true, this discovery would mean we are not just looking at a rock from another star system. We are looking at a deliberate message, one that has waited for billions of years to be found. Even if it turns out to be natural, the mystery is no less remarkable. Whether forged by cosmic chaos or crafted by intelligence, 3i slash Atlas challenges our understanding of the universe and forces us to ask new questions about our place in it.